How's it going guys? So just down here at Cabarita, just had um, a pretty fun surf at Cabarita, now tuck it into a nice old post-surf meat pie under this tree. And um, now we're gonna go hit up uh, Cabba Skate Park. It's a pretty fun park. Got like a little, little fun like little ramp. So we're gonna go take the kind of, take the, uh, the Manta Ray and have some fun at the skate park. So, um. I'll see you guys there. Pew. So just uh, rocked up to the skate parks. Got a nice like little snake run here. You can go along, hit the bank, the little bowl section in there. So um, like I said, we've got the Connor in the car. We've got the Mana in the car. So I'm going to go test the Mana first. Then we're going to go compare it with the Connor board. Um, yeah, see how those two fare up compared to each other because they're pretty similar in size now. But um, the Mana Ray has a larger wheelbase than the Connor. So, um, yeah, stick around. Let's uh, rip into this edit. Phew.
Well, that wraps up the session at Cabarita Skate Park. I think the last time I was here was with um, Smooth Star about eight or seven years ago, back in like 2015. I did like one of my like the sickest turns on the um, Holy Toledo back in the day. I was like frothing up on it. I'll cut to the clip here. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that was the last time I've been to the skate park. But yeah, super fun. It's got like a nice like little just metal ramp that you can just like do turns on all the way. Kind of fucked up my pinky. Like look at that shit. The nails off. I need to go like wash it on, under some water and see what it, what it looks like. But my but my pinky got caught underneath my wheel. Oh, it cuts to the clip now. But um, yeah, just like fucked it up. Kind of hurts. I was just washing my pinky under the bubble and this little kid comes up to me and he's like, what happened? And I was like, I ran over my pinky with my skateboard and he's like, oh. <laughs> look on his face. <laughs> it just looked like he's about to throw up. And he's like, how'd you do it? I'm like, oh, I come off my skateboard and my pinky got caught underneath my wheel and I ran over it and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty gross all right so the audio didn't come through when I was uh, giving my breakdown on the comparison of the two boards when I was at the skate park so just uh, here editing together this video so I'm gonna give you the breakdown between the Connor board and the Manor board right here right now um, yeah like I said the the boards went really fun at that skate park that skate park is a, a, yeah, such a, a fun park for surf skates and smooth stars but um yeah the Manor Ray because there's only like a 0.5 of an, in, of an inch difference in the length of the Connor and the Manta Ray now. The Manta Ray is uh, 34.5 while the Connor is uh, 34 inches. You know, you think they'd be a bit similar, but that Manta Ray still has that larger wheelbase. It's got that 35, it's got the, the same wheelbase as the, uh, as if it were 35.5 inches, I think it was, um, prior to the uh, reduced size of the new Manta Ray and that's uh you can you can definitely feel that um at the skate park um it, it sort of felt a bit sticky for lack of a better word for me like it didn't really suit my stuff oh. it, I, I could like do stuff on it and, and get radical off the top but i just sort of had to drive it a bit more and in uh hold my line a bit more and draw out my turns a bit more it wasn't as whippy as the Connor board, you know, because you've got that large wheelbase, so it's definitely has that extra hold and that sort of extra drive through your turns, and um, yeah, it just felt kind of sticky. I think it might be the wheels too. I don't know what's up with those blue wheels, but like on my last Manta Ray and this one, it, the, the those wheels just feel like a little extra grippier than like any other wheels that I've used on the smooth. So I think it might be like the die or something. I don't know, but they're like the same hardness and stuff as like the Connor board. But they just feel like a little bit extra grippy. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I could still like release it off the top and get radical and, and turn. But I just couldn't turn as sharp. But yeah, it definitely had that extra hold and the extra drive. And you know, it just felt a lot more stable on my board too with that extra, um, that wider deck that the, the Manta Ray has. So yeah, definitely for those taller guys, those more, those, those bigger guys who sort of throw a lot of power or those like taller guys who look who are looking for a bit more stability um on, on their surf skates and everything so yeah like i said you can still get fucking radical on it and whip it around and stuff but it just doesn't turn as sharp it's just sort of not as responsive as a, a connor board you know like connor sort of like similar to like a fish thruster kind of thing where performance shortboard we just sort of whip it around and throw it in the pocket and get nice and tight while the the manta ray it's um yeah more of like your step up board and you know you just draw out your turns there's that little extra bit and you can't get like as sharp and stuff but yeah still super fun but the corner board fuck that thing was <laughs> mental at the skate park I, I just felt like super comfortable on my feet um yeah like you saw i was riding barefoot i usually usually skate bare feet at the skate park just because i'm getting radical and everything but um yeah with the wider decks that the these new boards have i just felt super comfortable on my feet and you know i didn't really 
worry about it. I didn't go for like any airs and stuff because that ramp there at that skate park is super steep. So um, it's got like a real steep section. So like if you just launch off it, you're going to get like a bunch of air and you know, landing <laughs> big airs with no shoes is yeah, a recipe for disaster. You know, it's not <laughs> very good on your feet. So I didn't really want to hurt myself. I just wanted to like flow and skate and like cruise along and just sort of skate how I surfed along that bank. So yeah, it was super fun. The Connor, yeah, yeah. I could just whip it, put it into the spots where I wanted to put it like like whip it right up into the pocket and yeah, just hit it off the lip, hit it off the coping. And yeah, it definitely has that extra, you can definitely feel that extra hold and that extra drive from the new THD thruster. Like I can just like hold my turns on both boards and whip it around and, and drive it off the bottom. And while the, the Connor as well, um, yeah, I can just turn like a lot sharper than the, uh, than the Manta Ray. But yeah, great. Both are great boards for like different um, sort of riders and stuff, like I said. Um, so, yeah, like if I had to pick between the two, the Conda board is definitely my go to board just because it suits my style of skating so much better. I like to go fast, I like to, you know, get radical, like turn sharp and, and whip it around and everything. But, um, yeah, the Conda's board definitely is, is my choice between the two because I'm a, a large guy. So, you know, I can ride the, the Manta Ray, it sort of suits my, um, my height, the Manta Ray board, but yeah, the Conor is definitely my go-to. And also too, like I found that the, um, the boards just carry a, so much more speed because of that extra hold and extra drive that the new THD thruster um, provides, you know, because when you're like going, drawing off the bottom on your bottom turn or like drawing, driving off the back and you cut back because it's got the extra hold and the drive, you just like hold your line a lot more and this carries like more speed through those turns, which was fucking like super sick. But yeah, that was um, the two boards. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that edit. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And also too, if you're, this is like a week after um, I hurt my pinky. So this is a bit of an update on my pinky. It's, uh, yeah, healing up. But fuck, that thing hurt, hey. Um, yeah, lost half the nail. But uh, we survived. We lived to tell the tale. And um, yeah, that is it for that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. You.